Hey, well, welcome everybody. Uh, Quentin, how are you? Doing good, man. How are you? Good, good. Paul here, Music Villa, Bozeman, Montana. I'm with Quentin King. And uh, you kind of just, that thing kind of just like, I, I, I got kind of suckered in, right? When you started yeah. playing that, I was like, there's a sound coming out of this that I really like. Uh, I don't even know how to explain it. Well, I think it's, again, uh, having been behind a number of these guitars now uh -huh. for a number of years now, I would clear, you know, qualify that as the as a distinctive Gibson sound. Yeah, right? I, I, that's it. You're you exactly know? right. That is, and it's it's a Gibson sound propelled by rosewood. By rosewood, right? Yep. So, so this is the Hummingbird Studio Rosewood. So the Studio series, they are a little bit thinner. You know, doesn't have all the Hummingbird, you know, stuff on the pick guard. Decor. Yeah. Yep. And uh, this one's called Rosewood Burst. Uh, it's got the Sonotone Fishman pickup in it. It's kind of like a, a you know, it's instead of going with the traditional '60s hummingbird, mm -hmm. uh, which is mahogany, this is more of a. It's the same shape as a hummingbird. It's the same type of guitar, thinner, but it's got a rosewood back. So it's kind of a, I guess I would call it the stage version of. Right. It's you know, like a, of it's a hummingbird. Go perform. It's it's not quite as many frills. It's uh, yeah. You know, but it, it has the sound and the playability that you would expect. Yeah, I you know I I almost even don't. Like to call it a hummingbird because it is rose. It's not a hummingbird. <laughs> Hummingbirds have their own unique sound as well. But mm -hmm. um, it, it's it's a cool guitar and it definitely has that classic Gibson sound for sure. Um, yeah, I mean, and it's I, playability. It's you know, again, I um, we just tuned it up, so it's probably going to pull out a little bit, but. I mean, it plays like you would expect. It's got, uh, you know, net, nut width is probably it's pretty standard. It's slightly shy of one and three, three quarters. quarters. Yeah, it feels slightly a little bigger than one eleven sixteenths. Feels a little thinner than than obviously than what I'm used to. Again, being a greasy guy, uh, the finish on the sorry, but it's true. Uh, the finish on the back of the neck is a little sticky for me because you know yep. again. But uh, it's still it's comfortable width. It's not. I don't know. I, I would compare it to like the the typical. Low profile, yeah. You know, whatever the the Martin being a Martin player primarily. That's how I think it. But what, but what distinguishes the guitar again is the sound. It's it's got a little low end, uh, but what it's got more than anything is punch. It's got. So, you know, and it's not like, you know, it's not for everyone either. What I'm hearing, I'm getting like this really cool country rootsy thing, you know. Like mm -hmm. if I was a singer-songwriter, I would be, there's a bunch of hits in this guitar. This chant, uh, I think the guitar comes with a pair of tight jeans and cowboy boots. Okay, yeah, it, is that, that does. Like in the case? And we the can, yeah, we can get some. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's, uh, I hear what you're saying, like, you know, but I don't think there's it's... There's something uh, unique about it. I like it. Uh, I, you know, it depends on style, but I think... Yeah. And like we've said also, once you plug it in, you can dial it in however yeah. you want. But as far as playability, acoustic sound, it's it's a Gibson sound. Yeah, you know? it is. Well, cool. Well, yeah, I'll just, we'll I'll let you just play run it. through a little bit on it. And cool. Yeah, That's you will it. be heard. I, so can, I can tell Gibson, you that much. Gibson, Studio, Hummingbird, Rosewood. And uh, it's available here at Music Villa. Come on down, check it out. Thanks for watching.